so that looks of it this is now all live so uh, i can leave this broadcasting studio behind and switch to the visual studio uh yeah we've been uh, talking about this in the facebook group and i really wanted to show you how easy this actually is so i'm starting here with uh, visual studio the the basic community version that you can download for free and uh, this is just the opening screen as you open it. And the first thing that I wanna do is clone some code because I wanna be cloning the Resolum GitHub FFGL repository, which lives here. And I'm just gonna copy that and say i want that one in the default path no changes just hit clone it's gonna do all that doing its thing and now it's cloned all good i'm not going to do anything with this i'm just going to use the source code from this so the next thing i'll do is i'll open another visual studio document and this time I want to create a new project. I want to create an empty project starting completely from scratch. And I will call that the shader flipper. And again, everything is fine. Default, just hit create. Again, we're going to let Visual Studio do its thing real quick. Uh, apparently the volume is too low uh, that is already at the max um, not quite sure what I can do about that I can switch to the internal mic let's try that real quick so let's see if this is any better now I'm talking through the internal mic you might hear some Microphone fan sounds, but by the looks of it, this is better. Uh, okay, back to Visual Studio. Uh, Shader Flipper has loaded. It's an empty project, there's nothing there. So um, the first thing, actually the first thing that I wanna do is switch this thing from 32-bit to 64-bit. And then I wanna set up some properties real quick because the default project actually wants to make an application i don't want to do that i want to make a dll and i want to link to opengl so in the additional dependencies there's a whole lot of libraries that get linked with it and i want to add OpenGL 32 lib to that. Boring stuff. Hit apply. We're done. Then I want to add some documents to this. I want to create a new item. It's going to be a C++ class. And I want to name that the same way, the shader flipper. Hit add, class name shader flipper, makes a header file and a CPP file. It's all good, all defaults, no changes, hitting that. And I have a shader flipper class. First thing I want to do, or second thing, third thing, wherever we are, is include the FFGL source code. So I'm going to go up one directory where I will find the Resolume repository that we cloned in the first step. Go to the source, to the library, and say that we want to include FFGL SDK. I also want to be sure that it gets compiled. So in the source files, I'll add an existing item. Do the same thing, go up one directory, go to the FFGL SDK, go to the source, go to the library, 
and let Visual Studio know we want to compile the SDK as well. Now, ever since uh, Ronan joined the uh, Resolume team, he made FFGL ridiculously simple. So he made a, a quick start uh, library for FFGL, which means that everything became super simple. And by saying using namespace FFGL quick start, we can access those functions. And now we can say that uh, our plugin is going to be a source, which will become a source in Resolume. Then we need to let Visual Studio know how to create a source and how to destroy a source. This is all super basic C++ um, developer 101. And this is literally all we have to do in the header file. So I'll say, let me create those bad boys. And let me create that one as well. And then I'll switch to the implementation file. Now here things are going to get slightly, we have to know a bit what we're doing. We're going to have to declare the name of our plugin. So we'll make a plugin instance called p and it will be a source and we will create a plugin of the type shader flipper which is the one that we declared just now. And now we need to, to declare the unique identifier for a plugin. And that's a four letter code that has to be unique to your plugin. That's the way Resolume and other host apps uh, identify your plugin and make sure it's different from the others. There is no real online list where you can see all plugin names. So you sort of have to guess that uh, your thing is unique. And in this case, we'll go with FP flip plug, FPPG. We, yeah, let's, let's shade flip. Let's say shader. Hopefully there is no plugin with that identifier. And the other thing is that we want to give this a name that it will have in Resol Resolume, so we'll call it Shader Flipper. That's that done. And then I want to define my shader, which is a normal string type. Uh, we'll call it F Shader, and we'll use the string literal to make that. Uh, now comes the flipping part. We go to Shader Toy. We find a nice shader that we want to flip. I uh, went ahead and looked around, and uh, I quite like this one. So uh, what we'll do is we'll hit select all, hit Command Copy. Don't go back to this window, but go back to this one and we hit paste. Oh my god, I am so creative. I am making a shader. Uh, shader Toy uses a couple of uniforms uh, specifically, and the real trick to flipping a shader is knowing which ones, uh, which uniforms you need to change, which variables. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm a shader flipper, so I don't care about this code because it doesn't contain any of those this stuff I don't care about. I don't care about how uh, ray tracing works. I don't care how colorizing works. Ray marshing is all stuff I don't care about. The only thing I care about is the main image. And these frag colors and frag coordinate variables. I want to get rid of those and just say make a main. And then I want to change wherever it says frag coordinate x, y, I want to use the proper OpenGL version of that, which
which is lowercase gl underscore capital frac coordinate shader basics then wherever it says higher resolution i want to change that to just resolution and wherever it says time for i time i just want to change that to time for the rest there are no um, variables which are unique to shader toy here so at this point all i'm left with is to say that I want to set my fragment shader to use the one I just wrote. Bada bing, bada boom, I have flipped the shader. I'm on 64 bit. I will hit compile. It starts compiling and I get error messages out the wazoo. I get 102 errors. Oh my God, what's going wrong? This is basically uh, because I started a new project, because I really wanted to show you from scratch what's going on. Um, Microsoft is being a little bit uh, waving the finger and it says that I have to conform to certain standards. And I have to use, uh, I forget what this system definition, system, it's something security definition. I don't want to deal with all that. So I hit that one to know as well. And I hit apply. And now, moment of truth, generating code, done building project. I get another error message. Don't worry about this one. This is just saying that I can start this application. That's fine. It's a DLL, it's a plugin. It doesn't need to start. So what I'll do is I'll go to the place on my hard drive, my user folder, source, repos, default Visual Studio place, has a shader flipper project, has a 64 debug build, it has a shader flipper DLL. So what I'll do is I'll copy that. I have an extra effects folder in Resolume Arena. And I will hit paste. And now I'll launch Resolume Arena. And because I said that we want to have sources, there is now in the sources tab, a shader flipper clip that I can drag and wazoo, it is working in Resolum. I'm doing this on an Intel, uh, Intel Microsoft Surface Pro MacBook, uh, MacBook, Microsoft Surface Pro. So the frame rate 30, because this is rendering at 1920, 1080. It's a bit low, but here we have a flip shader. This is literally all you need to do. But I'm actually a developer and I'm adding my own, um, my own parameters to this. I'm, I'm adding value. Oh, sure. Let's add some value to this. Let's say that um, I would like to rotate this beautiful example. There actually is already a rotation function in the shader and all I need to do is expose that so what I'll do is I'll say I'll add a parameter which is a regular parameter and I'll create that and I'll call it rotation using a capital because I like capitals and its default value should be 0.75 float value then in the shader, I will say, because uh, shaders work in uh, radiant space where everything is to do with pi, I'll say that I want to rotate to pi, which is a full circle, times the value of the parameter I just created. Rotation, note the capitals here. 
I'll hit recompile again. Again, I get this warning, but that's fine. In Resolume, I'll eject this so it's free for writing. Copy the file again. Paste the file again. Yes, replace, please. Go back to Resolume. Load my shader flipper thing. And now I have a rotational parameter that I can use to play with. This is literally all that you have to do to create a 3D plugin like this. I think it's absolutely beautiful if you follow this stuff and you learn from this and create your own plugins from this. I think it is absolutely horrendous if you take this stuff, claim it as your own and try to make money of it. I think that is wrong and I will oppose that for as long as I'm part of this community. Some of you may be paying attention and you can say, well, actually this uh, shader is MIT licensed, which means that you can do whatever, whatever you want with it. This is true. The guy that made the shader, amazing developer, amazing coder, doesn't give a fuck about what he wants, uh, what people do with this thing. Officially, you could make money with this as long as you include that header. I think that is bullshit. I think that is wrong. And I think that should be opposed. That's my rant. That's my creating a shader. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side.